Vein Miner is a Minecraft plugin that allows you to mine ores, trees, and a lot of other blocks in bulk. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to install it, how it works, and how you can customize it yourself. Before we start, make sure to check if you're subscribed to the channel already. According to my analytics, a very big part of my viewers is still not subscribed. So check that subscribe button, make sure it's pressed. And then without any further ado, let's dive right into this so the first step will be clicking on the link down below that will take you to the vein miners pick mc page the plugin is 100 free so simply click on download now after that go to your minecraft server directory look for the plugins folder and drag vein miner.jar inside then after restarting your minecraft server you will be able to vein mine so what is a vein a vein is basically a collection of ores all stuck together so this is an iron vein now we can mine this whole vein at once by simply grabbing a pickaxe, crouching in game, and after that mining one of the blocks connected to the rest of the vein. And there we go. Okay, we removed a lot of iron there. But look at that, 15 raw iron, mined in mere seconds. Now this works for any ore. Regular ones, deep slate ones, from diamonds to coal, all the ores you will be able to mine extremely quickly. Now the only thing this saves is time. Your pickaxe will still lose the same amount of durability it would lose if you would mine every single ore separate. So when it comes down to durability, you won't save anything. It will be quicker. Now this also works works for wood so if you have an axe you can simply go to a tree crouch and then mine one of the locks and there we go fill tree is mined and we got 49 wood this is a huge time saver so in just a couple of seconds we can mine multiple stacks of wood look at that four stacks already that is freaking awesome now it is not just ores and woods every single tool in minecraft is able to vein mine certain blocks and to specify which blocks we want to go to the vein miner config so inside of your server directory simply go to your plugins folder and then to your vein miner folder inside of there there will be a config.yml file then you will first have some general settings like should it be disabled for certain game modes should it be disabled for certain worlds should it be disabled when you're too hungry so you can even make it so that if if a player is very very hungry they really need to eat that they won't be able to vein mine now there are also some client options and that is actually really cool because if you didn't know vein miner originally is a mod but later on they ported it over to a plugin if you have the vein miner mod installed on your minecraft client then if a server also runs vein miner then you will be able to use the keybinds of your client on that server and this is basically where you can disable or enable that then we got some database stuff just general stuff but then here, we got the block list. So this is the list with all the materials that we can vein mine using a pickaxe. So we got an amethyst cluster, coal ore, deep slate, copper ore, pretty much every single ore is here. But let's say you want to, for example, add diorite, because you don't want to spend a lot of time mining diorite. Then you can do that. Or let's say you want to add something like endstone or obsidian. Whatever you want to do, it really doesn't matter. You can add it all here. Now over here, you can also to see all the different locks that an axe can vein mine. So from every regular type of wood to brown mushroom blocks, carved pumpkins, and all the way down here, all the nether locks, you will be able to vein mine all of these. Then we also got a couple for shovel. So shovels will be able to vein mine clay, gravel, mud, red sand, and normal sand, which could be really, really handy. But if you think that's too overpowered and you don't want giant gaps inside of your desert, then you might want to disable these. You will also be able to vein mine certain things with a hoe so moss blocks potatoes red mushrooms and then there's a lot of stuff under shears so basically leaves wool blocks and even cobweb and then there's even an all section so it doesn't matter which tool you're using but you will be able to vein mine these blocks with every single tool that is cool stuff now here back at the top you can also change the max vein size so how many blocks can you actually vein mine at once currently it is set to 64 meaning that only if you have for example a coal vein that is bigger than 64 coal ores then it will not mine everything otherwise it will if you think that this is too overpowered you can also just set it to eight or something like that so then it will vein mine but it won't mine everything at once so you will still have to do some manual work you can also attach a cost to it so if you have vault installed and an economy plugin like for example essentials x you can make it so that every single time a player vein mines it will cost them something let's say we set it to 10 then it will cost 10 dollars every single time you vein mine 
pretty cool stuff. And that is gonna be everything for now. I wanna thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Bam! Analytics. A lot of you not subscribed. You can change that. And then I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye!